always been a storyteller. For me, everything comes from storytelling. Everything comes from narrative. The interesting thing about storytelling is that it is not only the story itself, as what people consider story, it is also the container of the story that is part of the story. Because you always ask yourself as an artist, what contains the meaning? Where is the meaning? Is, is the meaning in the work or is the meaning projected onto the work? In the show, The Wandering Veil, I kind of combine the two things that interest me most, which is the veil being the metaphor for the work itself, and the wandering veil, uh, which has to do with my wandering from one culture to another, being born in Israel, moving to America. And when it comes to narrative, is how narratives either migrate or, mo or morph from one culture to another, or how different they are. Different cultures have different meta-narratives. In the middle of the 80s, we were at the height of postmodernism, appropriation, uh, irony, distance. The story of Don Quixote Part Two was a story that I thought was a great antidote to what I felt was all around me. And then I went on with the narrative and I cast my friend Herbert Mouchamp, who was the critic of uh, architecture, as the Don Quixote. And he's bound to the horse with a rope and books, so the books are what's holding him from falling. He's holding a mirror uh, whose handle is a painter's brush. The other thing that is interesting is that the front view of the sculpture is actually the ass of the horse. So you're walking in from the back. And this whole relationship from back to front is something that goes throughout the show. You're always entering into the rooms through the back door. Uh, the reverse paintings on the screens are painted from the back to the front. There's a total collapse of all these disciplines. And, and for me, that's really, really important. Veil Threats is a working title that Agash Ali, the great Kashmiri American poet, and I gave to this body of work when we started to collaborate on it. Unfortunately, Shahid passed away two years into our friendship, so uh, he never really saw the fruits of this labor. The Veil Suite, which is the one painting, the one room painting that was made after Shahid's last poem. And it's a very, very powerful uh, poem. There's a condemnation of divine love written by a dying man, and, and, and it just takes your breath away. It took me a year to deconstruct the poem and understand the deeper meanings of it, and um, another six months to figure out how to turn it into a painting and how to build up the scenery. The veil is a very deep metaphor across many, many cultures. As we walk through a landscape, we are constantly hiding and revealing the landscape itself. So we are kind of veils. Our skin is a kind of a membrane. Things go in, things go out. Language is a kind of a strainer too. And I see us as veils. Mm -hmm.